Jerry Judy has taken off uh, since Jameis Winston took over as the Browns' starting quarterback. In fact, he is the leading receiver in the NFL since week eight when he took over. Uh, 614 yards, uh, five games now. Sutton, a little bit less in one more game, 569. McConkey, the rookie. Jamar Chase, you see, um, has Jerry Judy the last five games has more than him. And Puka Nakua. Tom, I... I expand it more globally, and, and you touched on it a little bit. Elijah Morris looked really good. You saw Michael Woods get in some action. You've seen Jamari Thrash. All the, receiver, nice, right? all the receivers seem to look better with Winston. That tells me you should probably look at that guy as your quarterback. Yeah, you know, obviously, you know, what we saw with Deshaun early on, and I don't know how much of it was related to the shoulder. I'm sure some of it was. I know some of it has to do with the fact that he only played in 12 games or whatever it was coming into the season since 2020 because of his holdout, because of the suspension, because of injuries. I mean, he was just not poised in the pocket, Dave. We saw that. We saw that he would panic and he ran himself into some sacks and you know the line didn't do a great job of protecting him either and they had some injuries up front early on Jack Conklin is back now things have settled down a little bit there you know other than the left tackle situation so yeah I do I think they have to take a hard look at him now Dave I think that's what over these last five weeks I think that's been very evident to everyone that you know where would this team be had they decided to make the switch early on and I still don't believe one word out of Kevin Stefanski when he said that you know uh, playing Deshaun during those times gave the team a better chance to win. We all knew what we were looking at. Everybody's watched enough football in this town to know what good quarterback play looks like. So, um, yeah, I'm with you. I think they take a real hard look at it. Um, you know, we don't know. It doesn't sound like this draft class is, is you know, real good. Obviously, there's always guys that emerge from the, the third, fourth, and fifth rounds that you don't foresee right now. But by and large, it's not a great draft class. Free agency market is still a little bit wide open. We're not sure what's going to happen there. But, yeah, I think Jameis Winston at least gives them something else to, to, uh, to consider as they go into 2025.